Hey guys and welcome back to the Family Fudge. Today I have a grocery haul to share with you guys. This morning while the big kids were at school, I snuck off and went to Trader Joe's and I found lots of interesting new items to share with you. But before I do that, the whole family and I are headed to Costco. The Family Fudge, the Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. We are going on fall break and we're gonna go down to LA and go to Disneyland. So we need to pick up some things for that. Now before we head out to Costco, we do need to give Griffin his big surprise because today we're actually partnering with Evenflow on their every stage car seat. And we've got one for him to try. Do you guys think he's gonna be surprised? Yeah. Okay, can you push it towards the door and then ring the doorbell and he'll come and see it. It's heavy. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Oh, use your muscles. Good job, Jack, you're so strong. Okay, ring the doorbell. <gasps> Surprise! It's your new car seat. <laughs> you like it? This is yours. It's want to open. You want to open it? Uh -huh. okay. It's your car seat. Whoa. Yeah. My diet! Yay! Okay, somebody's excited. Are you ready? Uh-huh. How's your new seat? Um, Dad put me in my seat. Do you put you in your seat? Do you love it? Uh-huh. We get in the sky me around up in. No, no. Airport, guys. You, you want to go to the airport? Uh-huh. A buggy. It's perfect for babies, but it also transitions into childhood. That means you can use your every stage every day. Okay, so my husband is loading up the kids. He's also going to install this new car seat. I'm gonna gather everything that I need. I've got my shopping list, I've got my water because I'm super thirsty today, but I do need to grab a few more reusable bags for this shopping trip. But I have to say, I'm super excited about this car seat. It looks so nice. It's an all-in-one, it grows with the child. It's rollover tested, which is super important to me. Side impact tested as well. This is an infant and a convertible booster, so you can use it for a long time. I like the easy click installation. That sounds nice and easy, even for me. So many awesome features, and of course, easy to clean, which is always a win in my book. So, did you get it in there? I did, and it was really easy. It just clipped right in, and it's super tight. Looking good, Griffin. What do you think? Good. Do you like it? Look. Are you ready to go to Costco? Uh -huh. All right, we are finally on our way. The rain has stopped, but it's still really hot. So this humidity is getting to me. It's reminding me of our time in Georgia, which was such a fun time. I miss Georgia. Do you guys miss Georgia? Yeah. I can't wait to go back. So, like I said, we're headed to Costco. I don't know what is up with this light, but we're gonna go with it. So we're gonna head into Costco, get the things we need, and then when we get back home, I'll show you everything that we picked up. We made it to Costco. The clouds are looking super dark, like it's gonna rain any minute, so let's hurry up and go in. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. No. Should we see if they remember the rules? Yeah. Yeah. What are the rules? No, no screaming, screaming, no crying, no, no running, running away, no, no screaming, <laughs> no stealing stuff, no being weird, no falling over. <laughs> no falling <laughs> over. No uh -huh, falling no over. Falling are you ready? We are done at Costco, but we are soaked. I thought it would be raining, but I didn't think it would be pouring. So let's head home and then we'll show you everything that we picked up. So we are back home now. We just brought everything in. It finally stopped raining and we are all dried off. Some of the things did get a little bit wet, but I think they'll be okay. So we ended up going to Costco. I went to Walmart and I went to Trader Joe's this morning. So I'll go ahead and show you everything. We had a lot of non-food items this time that are very interesting. I can't wait to show you. 
Then I also got a special delivery from King's Hawaiian, so I'll go ahead and show that to you as well as part of this haul. We got things to make lunches this week, and we also got things to take with us out of town next week. So I'll go ahead and start with the things from Costco, the non-food items first. We picked up a big thing of toilet paper, and then the kids each got to pick a book this time. Mackenzie picked the solar system book, and this one's really cool. It has pop-ups and 3D things. It's just really interesting. And then Lily picked up, uh-oh, <laughs> Lily picked out this Paw Patrol book. Griffin picked out this drum book. So that should be nice and loud. I'm not quite sure how this made it into the cart. I did not approve this, but I think he'll like it. And then Jackson picked this bug book, and it also comes with a little activity in there. He loves those. Underneath the books, we got a big thing of water to take with us on our trip. I need to get some of these in the freezer as soon as possible. And then moving on to the food items, I let the kids pick out some muffins. These are gonna go in the freezer this week, and then we'll take them on our trip next week. We got some of the new pumpkin streusel muffins and of course the kids' favorite chocolate muffins. I also picked up some eggs, some pineapple sausage, of course, it's like in every grocery haul. We love this stuff. And then I also got some new granola. This is the dark chocolate peanut butter from the Love Crunch Company. I like their other flavors, so I can't wait to give this one a try. Back over here, we got some strawberries and some bananas. We got some Havarti cheese, some cheddar cheese, and some string cheese, lots of cheese, mostly for lunches and snacks, things like that. We also got some bacon. Let's see, from Costco I also got some hot sauce. This is the Cholula and it's my favorite. I'm pretty much the only one that likes this stuff. And I especially like it on my eggs. Back over here we got a container of mixed nuts, that's for our trip. We got some regular milk for the kids, some almond milk for me, and I also got this box of soft and chewy granola bars for the kids. Some will go in lunches and some will go in the pantry because they're 64. These are going to last a while. At least I think they will. Now that's all the stuff from Costco. Not the biggest Costco haul today, but now we can move over and I'll show you everything from Walmart, starting with some chicken. This is for sandwiches this week. And then these are new, we're giving these a try in lunches. These are the Laughing Cow Cheese Cups. So you can put vegetables or crackers, you can dip anything you want in there. It comes with four little cups, perfect for lunches. And this is in the garlic herb flavor. I also picked up some Baby Bell cheese, and as you can tell, I had to give Griffin one because he was getting hungry. And these ones are cool because they are the Halloween edition. So there's little Halloween faces and pumpkins on the outside, and I know you guys can probably tell what I'm gonna do with these. That's right, they're going into some Halloween themed lunches, so stay tuned for those. We also picked up some broccoli, some celery, and just a few carrots. I got some of these turkey bites, there's two bags here. This is like a turkey jerky, and we like to bring this with us when we go to Disney. It's a quick um, protein filled snack for the kids. Back over here, I got some of these animal crackers, which I don't normally buy, but I am doing those letter of the week lunches with Lily, and next week is going to be E for elephants. I'm hoping that there's gonna be some elephant crackers in here that I can throw into her E-themed lunch, because you guys, I'm having a really hard time finding foods that start with the letter E that she will actually eat, so if you know any, leave them in the comments down below. Behind those, I also picked up some turkey breakfast sausage. These are fully cooked. Um, they're not that bad, we really like these. They're fully cooked, all I have to do is microwave them and they're really tasty. I also picked up some kiwis, a box of the Go-Gurt Simples, some Activia yogurt in the vanilla flavor. We got some sweet mini peppers back there. I also picked up lots of olives. I have some special things I'm hoping to do with these. I have two cans of the large and one reclosable package of the sliced ones. I also picked up some diced peaches. These are the no sugar added ones. These are also for a special lunch treat I'm working on. I got some turkey pepperoni and some whole grain fig bars. We got some blueberries, some raspberries, 
some grapes, although these came from Trader Joe's, so these should actually be over there, but that's okay. I got some mini waffles and some Disney mac and cheese. You guys know what we're gonna do with those. That's right. We take Easy Mac with us and we have it in our hotel room at night. It's super easy. The kids love it. I also got some tomatoes. These are definitely not for me, but for the rest of the family and especially my husband loves these. I got some pumpkin spice cream cheese. Hopefully this will be good. And then lastly from Walmart, I picked up some of this organic whole grain bread. I have a special sandwich that I'm hoping to make with this. Now over in this section, I have all of my Trader Joe stuff. It kind of got jumbled in, but I'll go ahead and start with this guy. Isn't this interesting? This is like a sugar skull ceramic pot with a really awesome succulent in there. And this of course is for, and this is for the Dia de los Muertos celebration, which I love the whole meaning behind that. I really didn't know the whole tradition behind it until I watched the movie Coco, but it's all about remembering your family and your friends around this time of year, and I love that. So I thought this would be really fun and cute. Also from Trader Joe's, I picked up some little candles. These are actually soy candles and they smell really good. We have the honey crisp apple and the vanilla pumpkin. These smell just as good as the ones from Bath and Body Works, but these are only $3.99. Also from Trader Joe's, I picked up a teeny tiny cinnamon broom. Well, this one's actually called a cinnamon whisk. And basically this is bark and it smells just like cinnamon. You can put it anywhere in your house or your car and it makes it smell like Ball. Also from Trader Joe's, I picked up some hand soap and the apple cider scent. I'm all out of my Mrs. Myers and my Grove Collaborative order is not coming yet, so I got this in the meantime. I also wanted to try this new grapefruit ginger sugar scrub. I didn't smell this in the store, but I'm a big fan of anything grapefruit, so I think I'm gonna love it. And then I also got some of the liquid dish soap. That's really hard for me to say. Um, in the citrus scent. Moving back over here, I picked up three cans of the Joe O's. I get these pretty much every time I go to Trader Joe's. They are so quick and easy and the kids love them. Then I also got three cans of pumpkin. I'm really hoping to make lots of pumpkin recipes this season, so we shall see. Now over here I have something really interesting that we've never tried before. This is corn on the cob for popping. So you actually take it out of the packaging and stick the whole thing in the microwave and the popcorn's supposed to pop right off of the cob. I'm not quite sure how that's not gonna like go all over my microwave, but it sounds really interesting. So I wanted to give it a try. I also got some of these pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. These are so good. These are my favorite thing from Trader Joe's last fall. And I also picked up the carrot cake spread. I've been seeing this all over Instagram and Facebook and in people's grocery hauls. This, I haven't tried this before, but it looks really interesting. So we shall see. I guess you're supposed to put it on bagels and, and things like that. Now way back over here, I also picked up a bag of mandarin oranges from Trader Joe's. The ones at Costco weren't looking very good. These ones are actually really nice and they're not all mushy already. So I was happy to find those at Trader Joe's. I also got two boxes of the new butternut squash mac and cheese. I've never tried this before, but it sounds really tasty. And then over here, I have lots of things to throw into lunches. We got some pumpkin cereal bars. These are so delicious. And then I also got some mango applesauce and some strawberry applesauce. And then we have some special Halloween Jojo cookies. These are so fun. We end up buying these every year around Halloween and the kids love them. Definitely a fun Halloween treat. And speaking of Halloween treats, I also wanted to give this a try. I think these are new. I've never seen them before. Candy corn popcorn. So it's basically like caramel corn, but instead of tasting like caramel, it's gonna taste like candy corn. So this bag was only 99 cents. I thought we could go ahead and give it a try. And then I also got some of these soft baked snickerdoodles. These are one of the really tasty gluten-free options at Trader Joe's, and they're also nut, egg, and soy-free as well, and they're really nice and soft. We love these. And of course, it wouldn't be a trip to Trader Joe's without the mandarin orange chicken. I bought two bags, I'm gonna stick them in the freezer, and if ever we need a quick dinner, I can pull one out. 
And then I also got some of these pre-made mini pizzas, but this time I got the cheese because I'm hoping to put some special Halloween toppings on these pizzas. Over here I got some of the drinkable yogurt in the peach flavor. And then I also got some of these individual cups of yogurt, also in the peach and the mango flavors. My kids love these. And then last but not least, we have some very special bread. This is actually store-made rainbow bread from King's Hawaiian. And he ordered this, they delivered it right to our door. And a lot of this is probably gonna end up going in the freezer. And then we'll just use it for lunches as we need to. Yeah, it just came in these two little boxes, so I think that there's five loaves all together. Now, I've actually made rainbow bread before. It's not that hard to make, and I have a separate video if you wanna check it out, but this is actually really cool because it's only pink, yellow, and orange, so be watching for this special bread in some upcoming lunch videos. That is everything in the haul today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'd like to thank Evenflow for partnering with us on today's video. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.